MRI is a structural test, PET scan is a functional test. It will tell you what part of the brain look abnormal functionally. So, this look metabolically abnormal, what that means, what I said functional. So, it is a completely different machine than MRI technique, it is a completely different modality of imaging technique. When it comes to the PET scan, it helps us decide it never helps us confirm 100 percent. We never make it 100 percent decision based on PET scan results alone. So, when we have a difficulties, difficult cases where for people with radiation necrosis or true tumor progression, we do the PET scan, we use the help of a PET scan to decide whether and again patient's clinical scenario whether this is radiation necrosis or re, um, tumor recurrence. Again, there is no 100 percent way to diagnose even with the PET scan. PET scan is when we inject with radioactive isotopes and then follow it in the brain and we see if the tumor cells dividing rapidly, then it is lot of glucose. So, they will try to pick up lot of glucose. This radioactive isotopes are attached to those glucose cells. So, then whenever the glucose go, it is going to light up. And when we see lot of lighting up in a brain, we can see that this area has hypermetabolic activity. And what that means is there may be some growth going on because there are lots of cells dividing or eating glucose there.